I think like maybe the first question I asked you was how it affected you, like, like what you went through, how it not only affected you, but affected your family. Um, it was tough. It was tough at first, um, just because me being from here, me being a family man, me being a, a Syracuse guy, me being coming here thinking I'm this wouldn't happen to me. You, you've seen it before in the world. You've seen things happen, and you're going, I never did anything to anybody. This is not what happened to me. I'm home. I'm protected. I'm not doing anything wrong. It's not happening. So as a man, I was okay. But when it was on TV and my family seen it, and it was affecting my kids, and they would see it and question it, then it was like, okay, this is real. What's going on? How did it affect your wife and your kids that, that you saw? Well, it, it affected them every day. They had to go outside and, and see people and people see them. And you didn't know if the same people were seeing you and smiling because of genuine love or because they see their dad, their husband on TV with a situation and not knowing the truth or not knowing the answers. They just going with assumptions or what they've heard. So it affected them as much as, as it would anybody because we're human and you worry about what people think. So my wife took it hard because it's friends and family and, and not so much family, but people around town that was that used to say hi when I see her or, or knew her because of me wasn't speaking it or wasn't even calling to say, how are you doing and checking in. We're here at the People's Zion Church. Yeah. Not just because it's a neat location, but because it's important to you, right? Yeah. The church helped you through. My faith helped me through it, and the church was, was part of my faith. Um, when I was going through it, not too many people were reaching out, and the pastor was there from day one when he heard about it and reached out, and the church was here for my family. So um, as it was going through, we, we were talking. He was counseling me. He was I was in church every Sunday, you know, dealing with it and, and processing, and people was always, they were in from day one with me, supporting me and, and pushing me through and, and also supporting my family, so that was big for me. You grew up here, you're really entrenched in this community, and now you're working with street addiction. Mm -hmm. um, you're helping kids, but is that also in turn helping you because you're doing what you want to do again? It is, it is because it's, I've been doing this probably since I was a teenager. I've been helping my neighborhood, helping kids who didn't have what I had and I didn't have a lot growing up. but. My neighborhood, how we grew up, if someone didn't have what you had and you had enough to share, then you shared or you helped or you pushed that person along. So street addiction, I grew up with Tim Jennings Bay Noble, we call him in the neighborhood, and he started this this program to help our, our kids. And it is what it is. It's about street addiction, getting kids off the street and doing something positive and, and being productive in their life. So him coming to me saying, I got a position for you here it is and this is what i was doing prior anyway i was always helping my community helping kids so it was it was a no-brainer it was it was easy for me to jump into because like you said it, it was it was me i was those kids i am those kids and so me helping them was helping me through my process as well kids can be honest and brutal sometimes and they'll, sometimes they'll challenge you yes do they ask you what what happened with the um, parks and rec no, I haven't had that far as the kids I'm working with. I do have it when I go speak with kids and talk with kids. And, um, and it's, I'll be honest with them. You know, um, I'm not a politician. I am what I am. So when they see me, they come and ask me. And I, and I talk to them about the situation. I tell them, like, it, some situations you can't control, some situations you control. All you can do is do your best. And at the end of the day, hold your head up if you feel that you made the right decision. So we talk about it, we get in some detail, sometimes we don't get in detail, and then I tell them at the end of the day, I'm here, I'm still standing. It could be worse. 